What's up guys, Shane here with Fugadec 3D Printing and today we're checking out the April 2019 MakerBox. Welcome back guys. So it is that time for another MakerBox. I'm still playing catch up. I know it is currently August when I'm recording this and I have a few more sitting here I need to get to but that's okay as long as they come out. I'll be happy about it because I really like printing with these filaments. And what MakerBox is, is a subscription box that comes to you every month with a certain number of filament samples in it. I get the Everything box now, which has eight samples. It's combined of two separate sample boxes. So they have three subscription types that you can do. You can do the Easy box, or the Basic, and that's going to have four samples of PLA from the same manufacturer in four different colors. And eventually, they'll have feature that manufacturer again with four different colors, and you'll have a full palette from one manufacturer. Then you have the Explorer box, which is like the traditional old school maker box. So it's gonna have filled filaments, it's gonna have flexible filaments, it's gonna have hard to print filaments, it's gonna have easy to print filaments, it's gonna have all kinds of different ones in there. So that is what comes in there. The Everything box is both of those together in one. So I have eight samples of filament in here that I need to get talking about. So let's get to see what's inside the box and then we'll see what the filaments are. So there's always some kind of swag and whatnot inside these maker boxes and I think I got all of it, yes, all right. So we've got their new candy they're putting out, Sweet Tarts Chewy. Again, this is a funny 3D printing thing. When you buy a 3D printer, when you buy film it for certain companies, when you get the Maker Box, candy comes in it. I don't know who started it. I really wish I could figure that out, but it's a funny thing that they always put in there. Uh, we've got an R3D uh, sticker. We have, oh, this is for the Jesse PLA. This is his little sticker, which is a dog. Uh, we have filamentcolors.xyz. Uh, some info, so this right here, this little card that comes in tells you how to get your discounts. So there's a QR code you can scan, go to their website, and that way you can get, uh, it also has the password on it, so you can get on there and get discounts for all the filaments that come in here. You get exclusive discounts from like anywhere from 10% to like 40% on filaments. So I've bought quite a few rolls through that um, discount, so it is something nice to have. And then we've got a Polymax a little info card in here on the Polymax PETG. So also when you get these, it kind of tells you, well, that's probably what's gonna come in the box. So I've already went through and printed out the eight samples, and what we're gonna go through first is the Easy Box. I'll show you the four of those, and then we'll continue on from there. All right, so we're looking at uh, some Push Plastic PLA, and this one is their Translucent Green, which this was printed out on my Hypercube, and actually turned out pretty fantastic, I must say. It's very clean, all the way around, Bottom layer looked good as well. Supports peeled right off without a problem. It's round, all around over. You're not seeing any, any type of uh, cooling problems under it. This just turned out really, really well. I printed all of these samples. So these and the next three were all printed at 210C on the nozzle, 60C on the bed, and all printed at 60 millimeters a second on each different printer that I used. Uh, they say this is a high quality PLA available in many great colors, made in the USA with 100% virgin materials. So again, this is translucent green. Here we have the translucent orange, right? Or they call this, oh, they call this translucent amber, sorry. And this was printed on my uh, OG, so the original Prusa i3 Mark III S. I did the S upgrade on that. And again, turned out absolutely fantastic. You cannot get really any better details than what that printer puts out. A little bit of elephant footing though, but that also might be just from their support, as the way their support goes, it puts down a few base layers first and then it starts building support on that. That could be a little bit from there, but I just have to snip that off. But either way, this is a very cool color actually, and it looks really good. Now we have a translucent red from the same uh, Easy Box. And again, it looked great. So this was actually printed on my i3 Mark III clone. I didn't do the S upgrade to that yet. And the problem is, is that the magnets in the clone bed are wearing down and they're not magnetic anymore. So the bottom does not look so great. What happened was actually the very first layer, it shifted about four millimeters, five millimeters to the one side. I was able to clean up most of it and get it back to decent shape, but that was the bed just shifting. I mean, other than that, the print looks gorgeous. I mean, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. There's no under extrusions anywhere. It was great filament. The printer does print well, but that bed is just kind of a little annoying. So I'm gonna have to fix that soon. Uh, and finally, the translucent blue. This is the least translucent of the three of them. Uh, it does have that same shine to it. 
Again, it does look great. This was on my original i3 Mark III S. So again, it does look fantastic. It printed very well. No issues with cooling on any of these. The support came off very easily and it cleaned up really well. So again, all of these were very easy to print and I think they look great. And just under a little, little more info about the EasyBox, uh, you get much larger spools with the EasyBox. So these are 63 grams versus 50 grams that you get with the Explorer Box or the old school Maker Box. Every spool was 50 grams. So you do get a little bit extra from all four of those and they give you a 15% off coupon directly at Push Plastics website. So if you like any of these, you can hop over there and get a 15% discount, which is not too bad. So now let's check out the filaments that came in the Explorer Box. All right, we're gonna start with my favorite. This is a carbon fiber nylon by Push Plastic. So the same ones that did the Easy Box. Look at this filament. It looks so doggone clean. It just absolutely looks amazing. So this was actually printed on my Forgetech FT5 because it is a fully enclosed printer. And I did dry this filament out before using it because sometimes there's just a little bit of moisture in them from MakerBox as they are spooling all of them. So you should dry this out before you do print it. And I have a little food dehydrator that I use for that. But man, the FT5, three years later, this thing is still kicking out marvelous prints. It's got a nice shine to it. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, right here, you can see some of the retractions right there. It was a little bit stringy on the retraction, but everything else was okay. Support actually was pretty easy to take off. Again, you can still see a little bit of the glue stick there. Just so need to take some water and wipe that off. But man, this stuff looks great. It is super duper lightweight. It really is. It's very, very strong. Uh, you can't even really bend this at all. I can usually bend some of the prints, but man, this looks really good, and I'm very happy with this print. Before I put this weight, I forgot to mention, this was printed at 250 C on the nozzle, 100 C on the bed with glue stick. So this is on printed on a PEI sheet with glue stick. Uh, there was, the fan was off, so there's no cooling fan on this. And again, I had a fully enclosed printer for this nylon. You have to keep it dry when you're printing it. So that really did help out. And this was printed at, what did I do this at? I think this was at um, 70 millimeters a second when I printed this at. All right, here I have a purple PETG from Amazon Basics. And I've actually done a review on Amazon Basics PETG and it prints just fine. This one though did suffer the same fate as the red did from the Easy Box on my i3 Mark III clone and it shifted kind of badly. So you can see here, there's just a bunch of gunk. I didn't realize, I set this thing to print, I walked away because that printer's been great. I have no have issues with it. So this is 100% the printer's fault. And sadly, I do not have enough to print another coin to get a really good looking one. So we're just not gonna look at the back at all. And we're gonna keep looking at the front. Uh, it did put down very well. It is a little bit stringy, which does happen with uh, PETG filament if you don't have everything precisely dialed in. And this one was just a little bit off. So there's a little bit of fuzz, which again, it's easy to knock that off with a blow dryer or a heat gun, or just rub your fingers over it and eventually just keep twisting and peeling and you'll get all those little fuzzies off. This filled in very well. This is printing at 235C, 80C on the bed. Uh, the cooling fan, I think I set it to a max of 30% and it was printed at 50 millimeters a second. That's pretty much my standard speed for PTG on any printer, pretty much. So again, it did work out very well except for the little issue on my printer. Uh, I've already reviewed or spooled this and it's still printed out just as good. All right, and here is Jesse PLA from Printed Solid. This turned out really, really nice. So this was printed on my GTEC A10 using Prusa Slicer, which makes marvelous, marvelous prints. It really is a nice printer. Uh, I didn't need any type of glue stick or anything on this because it is a PLA and that super plate really, really likes to hang on to PLA prints so they hold very nicely. Support on this came off without any problems whatsoever. It's just a simple pop off. So that was really nice to see. The support settings are dialed in. It filled in really well. Again, with the cooling on that, it has upgraded cooling, so it does cool very evenly. There's no real issues whatsoever with this. It just printed out really nice. And this, I think this is part of the printed solid um, in-house brand. So it prints out really nice. All right, so this is one that I was actually pretty excited about. This is called True Wood Cherry from Keen Village Plastics. And again, even just now having it out in the open, I can smell the wood. It really puts off a very, very strong uh, aroma, I'll call it, because it's not a smell, it's, it's an aroma. It smells, uh, it smells glorious. 
I could literally do that all, all day. It smells so great. It's so nice to print with. So this is printed on my AlphaWise U30, a printer I don't use all that often, but I mean, the print quality coming off it is pretty fantastic, especially for something like this. Now it is stringy. It is wood filament. That does happen quite frequently. So it's okay. This was printed at 185C on there, 60C on the bed. I did also have cooling at 100% after the second layer to give us a lot of nice cooling. Now, the problem with this filament is it is stupid brittle. I had to reload the filament probably four or five times before I could actually get it to load properly because it was so brittle. And another thing about being brittle is taking off the build plate, you know, a good third, almost half of the print stayed there. So I was able to get my putty knife underneath this side and up here, and then I kind of just went with it and just started pulling at it. That was a dumb move. I should have released all of it with that little knife first or with that print removal tool that I use. That's what I should have did all the way around first, but I didn't do that, so this is what happened. Other than that, it is a really, really nice print. I really like it. I love the smell of it, but I don't know why it was just so doggone brittle. It could be, I mean, it was brittle before we put it in, but the print's probably a little brittle because this was printed with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. They rec recommended a uh, 0.5, but I don't have that on anything and I don't feel like swapping out nozzles. So I wanted to see, can a regular person with a, an unmodified printer print this? You can, but you need to be a little more careful taking it off of your bed. Don't do what I did. Either way, I really did like this one. And again, this smell is glorious. So that's the April 2019 Everything Maker Box. Again, anything, whether you get the Easy Box or the Explore Box, it came in here. It's fantastic. Again, lots of new things I've never got to try before. This, this wood cherry is going to stay maybe on my desk when I need to feel happy and be reinvigorated with the, the power of printing with wood film. I'm just going to huff this. Probably shouldn't, but um, it smells amazing. I really did like it. So, and I will get that Mark III clone fixed. It's on my to-do list, so I will get that done very soon and try and get that bed replaced. So I found this box super awesome, and I hope you guys will too. So you should go down in the video description. There's a link and a coupon code down there for 15% off your first month, and you guys can check out the Maker Box as well. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Hope you don't do that. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments what you guys thought about the Maker Box or any of the filaments in here. Let's talk about it. Let me know if you've got printed with any of these, uh, if you've had any different results with any of them than what I've had. If you guys want to stay in tune what's going on, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. That way you get a notification when I upload new content and become one of the first ones to see anytime a new video or live stream goes up. If you guys want me financially, there's a Patreon link down below. Don't mean dollar more, you get access to my Patreon feed in the after show. Other ways you can help out is there's some one-time links and a bunch of affiliate links down there with some coupon codes, especially for the MakerBox. Save yourself some money, and that way you also get to support my channel in a little bit of a way that doesn't cost you anything. So thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, happy branding.